Hey guys, what's up? It's Hydroponic Caravan here, and we're back with some more Kachao Shima Kasaku. Okay, load. God damn it, why is this not working? Why is this being so difficult? Oh, hold on, my cellular device is calling me. State zero, okay. Pick state. I believe what was it? State four. I think state four. Game. Um, open state. Is that actually where I ended last time? I want to help that it is. Okay. With more A button pressing action. I honestly don't remember where I was going with the plot line. Hey, did he end up back with Mill? I honestly don't remember. I don't think I've edited the third episode yet. Uh, it's been it's been it's been quite a while since I've played this. I'm gonna move my music back a bit there. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've played this, so I really don't remember what was going on. So I apologize for anyone actor out there who actually cares about my made up plot line. Meanwhile, at Pedo NASA. Why do I keep calling it Pedo NASA? God damn it, fluent and nerd. You've got me calling it Pedo now instead of Pedo, which is the right way to say it. Meanwhile, at Pedo NASA. Jazziness. They, uh. Here's seen the beautiful entrance to uh, Pedo NASA. That guy has a very disturbing face. The jazz music's playing, so nothing could, po could possibly go wrong with this situation. And he's talking about um, squareception. There's a square within a square. And he's all like, dude, that blew my mind. And uh, the hero... The hero's not a huge fan of it. He gives it a smiley face, backwards, E dash, 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 dash. That's never good. Oh, that... That guy's... 45-year-old? He's a 45-year-old. He's involved with a 5-year-old. Uh, he's a 25-year-old. Very disturbingly large and bulbous nose. He's involved with a 3-year-old, in case you're wondering. She's a 20-year-old. Involved with a 5-year-old. I, I, I'm assuming this guy was introducing hero protagonist to this new cast of characters. We really need a new cast of characters right now. That's that's great. I'm not naming any of these people. He's 30. In case you're wondering. Oh, and there's something about 24 and 1. I honestly have no idea. Uh, so yeah, Ghostmas. How about that? Oh, so he's returned. He protagonist has returned to his uh, to his cubicle. Oh my! What's with these faces? Seriously, man, what the hell? What the hell? That dude has Brezhnev eyebrows. He's got me. Hero protagonist is meeting with Introductory Man and Brezhnev. Introductory Man has introduced him to Brezhnev and will be translating. And 
why the fuck did he Brezhnev just walk off? Brezhnev, you're ruining the overarching story. Or lack thereof. So Brezhnev is not interested in helping Pedo NASA, despite their its potential in the space race. Um This is now taking place during the Cold War. Explains everything. Now they're driving around in a limo, introductory man and hero protagonist. It's like about one year olds and two year olds. And 50-year-olds. Hopefully not in conjunction with each other. Oh. Version has returned. This is a new music track. Gotta jam out for a minute for it. We've introduced a new woman. Uh, presumably Brezhnev's has its wife. An introductory man is once again. Introductory man had to be there to introduce Brezhnev's wife. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, sorry, something got caught up in my throat there. What's up with all these lines, man? So, hero protagonist and Brezhnev, and Brezhnev's wife, are out in the city. And, uh, yeah, they're talking about, they're talking about space launches, because, you know, Brezhnev wants the best for the USSR, and he's got to get a launch spacecraft. It's a space race. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Oh, now he's in the limo with Brezhnev. It's exciting stuff. They seem to be going past the back, the exact same background repeatedly. Classy guys, real classy. Great, great, great graphical development there. Um, I'm intentionally not giving these characters specific lines just to piss off fluent and nerd. Yeah, I went there. And now they've returned to Brezhnev's place, We're about to share a bottle of. Uh, well, it's in Japanese, so I'm assuming it's a bottle of sake. Yeah, they're sharing an entire fucking bottle of it. They're gonna be wasted. And sake's powerful stuff. And they're talking about boxes. Because squares are the most fun conversation point in Japanese. If, that, if there's one thing I've learned from this game, it's that squares always make great conversational material. These are like, holy fuck, equilaterals. They're equilateral, man. They're po equilateral polygons. They're the shit. And here, Pedagnus is getting a little depressed. He's already, he's already talked about squares today, you know? You don't want to keep talking about the squares. You know, if you've talked about them once, you've talked about them enough. You don't need to keep talking about them. And then, 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 then Brezhnev brings up two pretzels. And it just, it gets awkward. There's, there's a silence. Suddenly the lights turn off in the room. God knows what happened. Next, just, Brezhnev just flies into a sake-induced rage and kicks Hero out of his apartment. Let's see, more of a penthouse, because he's rich as fuck. Yeah, that's what happened. There's a peaceful cityscape. Woman walks up and he's all like, question mark, question mark. Hello there, baby. Well, this is a this is an awkward situation. Last time I checked, your protagonist was either involved with Amelia or uh, Milf. I don't remember which one. I think he was involved with Milf. It was Milf and Amelia, then Milf again. Uh, they're talking about pretzels too. I don't know why, but all these guys fucking talk about are pretzels and squares and small children. You hear they mention the nine-year-old and a four-year-old <laughs> eating pretzels. Nothing else. Not not and a ten-year-old and I'm not sure if he's getting mad or if it's just his usual neutral pissed-off face. What the hell is that symbol? That's 
Beta Cthulhu Monkey. Yeah, she's brought up Beta Cthulhu Monkey. She just got real. I mean, it's Beta Cthulhu Monkey. At least we're not talking about pretzels anymore. And it's nighttime again. Like the fastest day ever. And they're. What? That made no fucking sense. Oh, we have a decision point. I don't have my D4. Hold on for a moment. Chill out to this delicious meat. So, sorry about that. Quick interruption. So, number one. Option number one is they go out and eat pretzels all night long. Option number two, something to do with PT. What does PT stand for? Um, patriarchal translation. Option number two, I make this entire game seem like it's completely a male-dominated society. Option number three... Oh, option number three... They, um... In an act of zealotry, they build a cross on top of Pedonassa. Option number four... They create a patriarchal society using pretzels. No. What? Well, it didn't even make sense. Well, why the fuck not? So we got number two. Is I assume the rest of this game is completely patriarchal. Seems reasonable. I'm not gonna do it for the entire game. It's probably just the rest of this episode. And they're out there, they're talking about two-year-olds. And he's like, bitch, I control you! This is a patriarchal society! And that came out a lot more racist than I intended it to. I apologize if anyone was offended by that. Uh, it's probably a good thing I didn't LP Shaq Fu. And... Here he is, he's dominating her. I'm assuming this is MILF, I honestly don't remember what they look like anymore. Oh, god. There's, a uh, another decision point. Um... Decision point one? Oh, there's a dot 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 there. It's trailing off into something. So decision point one is the night suddenly becomes very, very awkward for both of them. Decision number two is... Um, decision number two... Is they play a friendly game of Hangman. <coughs> Why is my throat sucking so much? Um, decision number three... They detonate explosives. And decision number four is I stop trying to decipher things precisely from the characters on the screen as opposed to the actual characters in the story. Decision number two. I play a friendly game of Hangman. Also, in addition to that, I gave up on this patriarchal bullshit. It's already getting on my nerves. Uh, what time am I at? Oh, I've got hella time. And then they retire to their cabin, or hotel room even, for a friendly game of Hangman. I'm waiting for something to actually happen. The next day... Oh, I don't know where Amelia... This is awkward. This is awkward. He spent all night, uh, playing Hangman with her cousin. This is an 
this is an awkward situation, I have to say. But he cleverly avoids it by walking out of the building. Like a boss. He walks out angrily into the night. Oh, and there's his good friend, Milf. Life needs more caffeine in it. I'm just saying. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't know where. Okay. Yes. Well, since I'm a yes man, I'm just going to go ahead and pick yes without arbitrarily deciding. Here, no, that takes all the fun out of the randomness, doesn't it? Damn it, I'm out of water. Out of water. I hope my throat doesn't fuck up again, man. Number two is just YES! In all bold. Um, that's already decided. Number one is, uh... Number one is no! Number three... Is... How about that? Just no yes, no yes. Make it random. Nice 50-50. Um, so number four. No, yes, no, yes. Number four is yes. A slightly awkward yes, though. What? Well, he feels bad about saying yes to her in an awkward way. I would, too. Whoa, what's up with that woman, man? The artist just got lazy in this game, like, after a certain point. Like, what's up with all the faces now? He's talking to, um... To Milf's mother. She is a couple thousand years old. She's a highly evolved pterodactyl. Um, she seems a little, she's a little shocked at his line of work, but since, uh, since Milf works there too, it's okay, you know. She's kind of hoping she'd actually meet a respectable gentleman. But, um, instead, she ended up bagging a very serious guy that works for Pedophile NASA. No, I'm not, not exactly the best, not, not the best suitor, but... You know, he's he's not feeling good about it either. You can see on his face there, he's he's gotten sad about this. He doesn't like it. Uh, he feels a little degraded. He's not how oh, now he's mad again or just neutral. You can never really tell. Now she's playing twenty questions with him. She's like, "Are you animal, vegetable, mineral? Are you blue?" seems to be quickly going in a negative direction. Um, this conversation's well, it's getting a little ugly, you know? Names are about to be thrown, and someone screams at them! Maybe. Someone's definitely screaming, and it wasn't one of them. And square. She brings up fucking parallelograms. And the conversation just ends at that point. And you bring up parallelograms to over. Oh, hey. The dude with the bulbous nose. Ugh, sorry, I'd stretch there. What's my time at? Well, I'm in about 19 minutes, so I think we're just going to cut it here with the dude with the bulbous nose. Um, so yeah, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, it's been, what is this, episode 4? Episode 4 of Let's Play Kachao Shima Kasaku. And this has been Hydroponic Caravan, signing out. Thank you and good night.